It's difficult to believe, but St Peter's Square, that's usually jam-packed, is completely deserted. Eight months after the explosion of the coronavirus health crisis, the world's smallest state has lost its hordes of visitors. Vuoto rispetto al solito. Da un lato è una fortuna, dal lato è da un altro lato è brutto. Guarda, Piazza San Pietro, tu puoi immaginare Piazza San Pietro dove siamo noi? 12.000 persone in piazza, quanto c'è l'audienza? Mercoledì in questa piazza non si può camminare. Mai visto una cosa di genere Piazza San Pietro così vuota, fa paura. A situation that has a serious effect on the finances of the Holy See. The habitual long queues to get into the Vatican museums are gone. In 2019, this was the third most visited museum in the world, with nearly 7 million visitors. È stato un impatto drammatico, 85% di perdita di visitatori e di conseguenza economica. È un problema perché i musei vaticani sono sempre stati una risorsa importante per l'attività del Vaticano. The fall in visitor numbers is compounded by a decrease in donations by the faithful to Peter's Pence, an important source of income for the Catholic Church. The dicasteries, the equivalent of ministries for the central organization of the church, have been asked to economize. So I think all the dicasteries now will be in a position, because we've got consolidated statements, they will be in a better position now to know what the overall state of the Vatican finances is, and what their role is and how much they are supposed, how much they can spend and how much they need to cut back on their spending. For 2020, the Vatican foresees a deficit of nearly 100 million euros. That is 10 times more than last year. But the Pope has indicated that despite the crisis, not one of the almost 5,000 Vatican employees will be made redundant. Thanks for watching.